The truth about Jay Chu, Jay Chu, is a Taiwanese singer, songwriter, rapper, record producer, actor, film director, businessman and magician. Dubbed the king of Mandapop, and having sold over 30 million records, Chu is one of the best-selling artists in Greater China area and is known for his work with lyricist Vincent Fang, with whom he has frequently collaborated on his music. In 2000, Chu released his debut studio album, J. 2000, under the record company Alpha Music to moderate success. Chu rose to fame with the release of his second studio album, Fantasy, 2001, which combined Western and Eastern music styles. The album won five Golden Melody Awards, including Album of the Year. He has since further released 12 more studio albums, spawning a string of hit singles and gaining significant prominence in Asian communities worldwide. Chu has embarked on six world tours, performing in cities around the world to more than 10 million spectators as of 2019. In 2007, Chu established his own record and management company JVR Music. Outside of music, Chu has served as the president of his own fashion brand Fantachi since 2006. As an actor, Chu made his acting debut in the film Initial D, 2005, followed shortly by a starring role in The Epic Curse of the Golden Flower, 2006. He has since starred in a number of movies, becoming known to Western audiences when he made his Hollywood debut in 2011 with The Green Hornet, starring alongside Seth Rogen and Christoph Waltz, followed by Now You See Me Too, 2016. Early life, Jay Chu was born and raised in Taipei, Taiwan. Both his parents were secondary school teachers, his mother, Ye Hui Mai, who was a music teacher, taught fine arts, while his father, Chu Yao Chung is a biomedical researcher. His mother noticed his sensitivity to music and took him to piano lessons at the age of four. During his childhood, he was fascinated with capturing sounds and songs with his tape recorder, which he carried everywhere with him. In the third grade, he became interested in music theory and also started cello lessons. He was an only child and loved to play piano, imitate TV actors, and perform magic tricks. His favorite composer was, and still is to this day, Chopin. His parents divorced when he was 14 and he was teased by his classmates, which caused him to become reclusive and introverted. He had no friends and preferred to be alone, listening to music, contemplating and daydreaming. At Tam Kang Senior High School, he majored in piano and minored in cello. He showed a talent for improvisation, became fond of pop music and began to write songs. Chu was conscripted for mandatory military service after graduating from high school with inadequate grades for university. However, severe back pain triggered by sports eventually led to the diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis, HLAB27, and he was exempted from military service. Meanwhile, he found a job as a waiter. Early career, Chu's mother initially inspired Chu to become a music teacher, while Chu remained relatively clueless on what to do with his life. Without his knowledge, a friend registered both their names in a talent show called Super New Talent King in 1998. Chu played the piano accompaniment for his friend, whose singing was described as lousy. Although they did not win, the show's host, Jackie Wu, an influential character in Taiwan's entertainment business, happened to glance at the music score and was impressed with its complexity. Wu then asked who wrote it, discovered Chu and hired him as a contract composer and paired him with the novice lyricist Vincent Fang. For his then record company, Alpha Music, Chu then spent most of his time in Wu's studio learning music producing, sound mixing, recording and writing songs. Although he was trained in classical music, Chu combines Chinese and Western music styles to produce songs that fuse R&B, rock and pop genres. However, Wu told Chu that he would help Chu release an album after he wrote 50 songs and he would pick 10 from there. Chu already had an arsenal of songs he wrote for others but had been rejected, so among those he chose 10 for his debut CD album, J, released in 2000. The album established his reputation as a musically gifted singer-songwriter whose style is a fusion of R&B, rap, classical music, and yet distinctly Chinese. His fame spread quickly in Chinese-speaking regions throughout Southeast Asia. Music career, 2000-2003, in 2000, under the recommendation of Junior Yang J. Chu began to sing his own songs. Chu launched his debut album J under Alpha Music in 2000. Chu arranged the compilation, harmony, and production of all the songs. The album combines R&B, hip-hop, and other musical styles. Among them, the hit song won the 24th China Top 10 Chinese Gold Songs. The album was promoted heavily by Jackie Wu in the entertainment shows he hosted. Chu himself also appeared on a few television programs to promote the album. Chu was marketed as a talented singer-composer with a unique tune. His collaboration with Vincent Fang and Vivian Xu on the release brought about a few hits. 
after promoting his debut album, to return to the studio for the next 12 months to record and produce his next album Fantasy, which helped him become an established star. This album was released in September 2001 and became a big hit, selling an estimated 2 million copies in Taiwan alone. Fantasy helped to secure 10 nominations and 5 wins at the 13th Golden Melody Awards in 2002. R&B hits such as, Simple Love, Love Before BC, Which One To The Best Composer Award, and, Can't Express Myself, are considered Chu's signature songs and are still sung in concerts today. Chu's music has been a much discussed topic across Chinese regions, because it differed greatly from mainstream popular Chinese music released at that time. His pieces combine ancient themes with futuristic ones, including things like spaceships, all while employing graphic storytelling skills to evoke vivid imagery to his audience. His enunciation, or lack thereof, whether rapping or singing, was also critiqued when listeners often found that they could not decipher the words sung until they looked up the lyrics. Critics referred to his singing as mumbling. This garnered a lot of attention and reporters often quizzed Chu on his singing style. Chu defended this as his signature style to infuse the vocals with the music and make it blend well together. Chu also stated that he wants the listeners to look at the lyrics stating the lyrics written by Vincent Fang are very deep. Chu's third album, The Eight Dimensions, became another commercial success and is similar in style to his second. Another collaboration with Fang, The Eight Dimensions included songs that invoke imagery, Chu's mumbling style and mainly R&B tunes. The singer has sold over 750,000 copies of Fantasy as of 2002, throughout the region. In the same year, Chu held his debut concert to other one. There was also more crossover activity between Malaysia and Indonesia, as well as steadily increasing activity by Japanese acts in the region. 2003 to 2005, in 2003, Chu released his fourth album Yehui My named after his own mother. After the release of this album, he attended the Golden Melody Awards for his previous album's nomination. The album The Eight Dimensions was nominated for five categories but won none. Chu didn't take this too lightly, as he wrote on his next album the song, Grandmother, that he actually takes the Golden Melody Awards too seriously. Ironically, his then-current album Yehui Mai would go on to win a Golden Melody Best Album of the Year award in 2004. Yehui Mai was both a commercial and musical success. The album features songs on mafia and drug lords, in the name of the father, which at first hearing was very unorthodox but displays Jay's creative writing and producing ability. This album can be seen as Jay's second milestone because it gained extremely positive reaction from both critics and supporters of his music. Jay also wanted to prove that he is a versatile artist and does not only write R&B songs, he ventured into more rock-flavored tunes such as which was one of the most played songs of the year. This song gained widespread popularity and high school students started learning guitar to play the drift of the song's intro. In 2004, his album Common Jasmine Orange, released by Sony Music, excelled in the Greater China region. In 2004, his album Kyle Xiang, or Jasmine, released by Sony Music, excelled in Taiwan, Hong Kong and China mainland. Despite overwhelming piracy in Taiwan which has reduced the recording industry to 5-10% to from its heyday as a Taiwan singer, Jay produced an album that sold a record 300,000 copies. In Hong Kong, his albums surpassed local albums with sales of 50,000 units. In China the official figure reached 2.6 million units, a figure no other Chinese artist has attained. The World Music Awards in September 2004 held in Las Vegas acknowledged him as the most popular Chinese singer based on sales. In 2005, his album 11 Chopin of November continued this record of success with sales of 2.5 million units in Asia. Single released in 2019, he recently made his chart comeback after a three-year hiatus with his long-awaited new single Won't Cry. The song, which features Mayday vocalist, Ashen, was released on September 16, 2019, and its music video has since been viewed over 22 million times on YouTube. In fact, the song was streamed so many times that it was reported to have caused QQ Music, China's biggest streaming platform, to crash on the day of its release. Single released in 2020, he published his new single Mojito. It caused a sensation on the internet. The song, which effuses amorous feelings of Cuba, was released as a single album on June 12, 2020. Musical style, Chu's compositions are loosely categorized as pop music. 
While many of his works fall into contemporary R&B, rap, and rock genres, the term true style has been popularized to describe his trademark cross-cultural music and insistence on singing with slurred enunciation. Type A Times once described the meaning of true style in what has become the archetypal true style. Taiwan's favorite son blends pop, rap, blues and a smorgasbord of aesthetic elements of world music to create his dream like Never Never Land. Chu regularly fuses traditional Chinese instruments and styles with R&B or rock to form a new genre called Zongo Feng, which literally means Chinese-style music, some of which are written in the pentatonic scale as opposed to the more common seven-note scale, diatonic scale, to accentuate an oriental style. Besides his own culture, he also incorporated Spanish guitar and rat imitation, American techno-electronica and herbalist's manual, rap with subtle classical music undertones in reverse scales, blues style and free tutorial video, Mayan Fei Jiao Zulu Ying Dai, and Bossa Nova style in Rosemary, to name a few. Sound effects from everyday life are frequently woven into his music, such as bouncing ping pong balls, touch tone phone dialing, helicopter blades, dripping rain, and radio static noise, moussey concrete. His formal musical training is evident by the use of classical textures in his compositions. For example, counterpoint was used in Perfection and Sorry, while polyphony can be found in The Wound That Ends War in Twilight's Chapter 7. Chu's albums have been noted for the lack of change compared to his earlier works, yet he firmly stated that he will not alter his style, they say I've been standing still. But this is the music I want, and I don't see what I want by moving ahead. To demonstrate his point, he named his 2006 album Still Fantasy after his 2001 album Fantasy. His use of relaxed enunciation has been criticized as mumbling which he also insisted will not change. However, recently he has adopted clearer pronunciation for certain songs, particularly more traditional Chinese-style songs, such as Far Away which features Fei Yuching and Chrysanthemum Terrace, Movie Career, two formally entered the film industry in 2005 with the release of the movie Initial D. He has since acted in three other movies, directed one film and more than a dozen music videos. Chu, who once said I live because of music, ventured into movies because he felt the need for a new challenge. As fans have grown concerned that movies will compromise his music career, Chu has repeatedly reassured that movies are a source of inspiration and not a distraction. At the same time, he realizes the need to balance both careers and maintain his place in the music field to garner the continued support of fans. Acting, J. Chu at a promotional event for Kung Fu Dunk in January 2008, entry into acting was an unexpected move for Chu. His high school English teacher thought he was capable of very few facial expressions, and the director of Hidden Track, 2003, a movie in which Chu had a cameo role, said that his strong individualistic personality will not make him a good actor. In 2005, Chu's first role as the lead actor in D Initial D served two purposes, to launch his acting debut, and to increase his exposure to Japanese audiences. This film is based on the Japanese comic Initial D, where Chu played Takumi Fujiwara, a gifted Tauj racer who is quiet and rarely shows expression. Some reviewers criticized his bland acting while others felt he performed naturally, but only because the character's personality closely mirrored his own. His performance in Initial D won him Best Newcomer Actor in Golden Horse Awards and Hong Kong Film Awards. Chu's second film was Curse of the Golden Flower, 2006. As a supporting character, he drew much of the attention of Chinese reporters. Chu's involvement in this movie was announced in its own press conference, separate from the meeting held for Chao Yun-fat, Gong Li, and the other actors. Chu portrayed Prince Hai, the ambitious second eldest prince and general of the Imperial Army whose personality epitomizes Xiao, the Chinese virtue of filial piety. In this internationally released film, North American audiences saw Chu for the first time. According to Chinese movie critics, comments about his acting ranged from lax complexity to acceptable, but was critically praised by Western reviewers. His performance in Curse of the Golden Flower was nominated Best Supporting Actor in the Hong Kong Film Awards. In the 2008 film Kung Fu Dunk, Chu portrayed a Kung Fu student and dunking prodigy, and the film earned over 100 million yen, 14.7 million US dollars. Chu portrayed Kato in The Green Hornet, directed by Michelle Gondry and released in January 2011, after Hong Kong actor Stephen Chow withdrew from the project. The film grossed over $228 million worldwide. MTV Network's NextMovie.com named him one of the breakout stars to watch for in 2011. In May 2011, Chu started filming for a new movie, The Viral Factor directed by Dante Lam and starred various well-known artists such as Nicholas C. The movie was released in theaters over Asia on January 17, 2012. 
with most of the scenes shot in the Middle Eastern and Southeast Asian countries. Earlier filming process has been slightly disrupted due to political conflicts in the Middle East. Chu co-star with Daniel Radcliffe and Now You See Me Too, which was released in June 2016. In 2018, it was announced that Chu joined the cast of Vin Diesel's fourth XXX film. In 2021, Chu was briefly starred in Neja, where he was the executive producer for the film. With a budget reportedly up to more than 400 million yuan, $61.8 million, the film used some expensive racing cars for the action sequences, accounting for about 80% of the entire content. Directed by Chen Yixian, the film also stars Cao Yuning, Van Fan, and Alan Ku. Chu and pop idol Wang Junkai show up in the film in cameo appearances. Personal life, Chu is rumored to have a relationship with Taiwanese singer Zhou Lin Tsai with the former being featured on Tsai's song Can't Speak Clearly, which appeared on her fourth studio album Lucky Number, 2001. In December 2001, Tsai and Chu were first spotted dining at an izakaya in Shinjuku, Japan. Although they did not admit to their relationship, their romance was an open secret in those years. However, in February 2005, Chu was spotted shopping intimately with Taiwanese news presenter Patty Hu in Shibuya, Japan. Since then, Tsai deliberately avoided meeting Chu and Hu during public events. In June 2010, Tsai and Chu finally made amends, and Tsai appeared as a special guest at Chu's concert in Taipei and shocked the public. In July 2013, when being interviewed by Taiwanese TV host Matilda Tao, for the first time, Tsai admitted she used to be in love with Chu. In addition, Tsai said that since Chu cheated on her, she felt disappointed and broke up with Chu. In November 2014, Chu confirmed his relationship with model Hannah Quinlevin. The pair had been dating since 2010, 138, but Hannah first met Jay when she was 14 and had been working as his employee as a clothing shop assistant since 2007. In December 2014, Chu announced that he would marry Quinlevin on his 36th birthday. The couple have two children, daughter Hathaway, born July 2015, and son Romeo, born June 2017. Marriage, Sarah Haywood planned their wedding in the United Kingdom. It took place in Selby Abbey in Selby, England on January 17, 2015, one day before Chu's birthday. A private wedding ceremony open to friends and family occurred on February 9 in Taipei. A third reception, this time in Australia, was held in March. According to Chu's official Facebook page, the couple has been registered for marriage since July 2014. The couple have two children, daughter Hathaway, born July 2015, and son Romeo, born June 2017.